One of the big problems with working with spreadsheets, especially spreadsheets like this, which are long, is that occasionally you may want to watch one part of a spreadsheet, let's say these graphs, while at the same time maybe making changes down here to the leases. So we're going to show you a couple of ways you can achieve this type of thing. First we're going to show you how to split panes. Most people are familiar with freeze panes. You'll see these slightly thicker lines, which means that as I go down, I always see 10 rows, and as I go across, I always see these columns. What is less well known is the split screen option. So under view, close to where the freeze panes are, you'll see there's an item here called split. And when I click on split, you'll see the lines change slightly. What's important to note is that you now have two scroll bars on either the horizontal and vertical side. In this case, our model is a very long one, so we're not worried about left or right. We're actually worried, worried about up or down. So I'm going to just get rid of this, and you do this by double-clicking. Now I'm going to place that somewhere like that. And what you'll now see is I can click over here and fix the scroll bar. So let's say, so now I'm looking at the graphs. When I click down here, I can go down and maybe go here to where the leases are. So now I have the ability to watch what's happening in row 13 to 32 while I'm making changes in row 300. So for example, here's our breakdown. Let's change this to be 36 months. When I click enter, watch what happens up here. You'll see immediately you can see what's happening. So it gives you the ability to look at two areas at the same time. Again, you can scroll down. To get rid of it, you can either switch it off, or if you want, you double click, and it goes away. To switch the freeze panes back on, we'd maybe go here, say view, freeze panes, and our freeze panes are back on. Another useful tool is the watch window. So here by formulas, you'll see next to formula auditing, there's something called a watch window. When I click on it, this pops up. Now what this is doing is asking what cells do I want to watch? So let's say I'm doing this deal. I'm going to go down to the annual results. And here are some of our key ratios. So I want to see what year one looks like. So I'm going to say add watch. And notice the information comes through there. Could also just highlight those. When I say add watch, it checks that that's what I want. I say add, and you'll see they're all there. So what this is now is it's telling me what book it's in, what sheet, the name of it, and I've named these cells. So you can see it's loan to value year one, RCR year one, etc. What cell it is, what the value is, and the formula. Let's say I also want to see, let's go down to the debt, and at the same time I want to see what this number is here, which is our terminal uh, value, residual value. I'm going to add it, and you'll see it's in here. What this now means is it doesn't matter where I go, I'll always see the watch window, and I can now go and make changes. So let's go to leases. I can make changes and immediately see what the impact will be on my key numbers. So for example, if I change this to 48 before I click enter, when I click enter, so that has no real impact on that. Let's go to our debt and maybe we'll change some of these numbers. So let's make our loan period 180 months. Now what happens here? Can you see the various numbers change? So what the watch window allows you to do is to make changes to your spreadsheet. And as you're going around, you can always see certain key bits of information. What's nice about the watch window, if I close it down, when I open it up, it remembers where we were. Also, if I'm not sure what this is, I can double click on it and it'll take me straight to that cell. So by using the watch window, 
you can work towards getting understanding what's happening to your model in different places while you're working on it. Another common problem in Excel is if you've been given two different sheets, so he has our model and perhaps he has the raw data that we want to use, we'd like to see them at the same time. And perhaps you could manually sort it. But if we've got these two open, if you go to View, you'll see there's an option here called Arrange All. When I click on it, it asks how you want to arrange it. I'm going to choose Vertical. And notice that we've got two open. When I say OK, what it does is it puts the two spreadsheets side by side. What this means now is we can work on both of them at the same time. So let's say your client has sent you your tenants listing. Here's our model. Instead of working and switch between the windows, what you can do is I can go here and say copy, come here, paste special. So you can use this as a quicker way to be able to do these things. Also, if you were going to link it, I could go like this, equals that cell, and it just makes it a little bit easier to actually work. Occasionally, you need to look at two sheets within the same spreadsheet at the same time. So for example, over here, someone has given us a breakdown of the tenants, and the pricing template is over here, and if we go to leases, you'll see it's not over here. So we want to perhaps link it. So we could manually do it, say equals, and go to that sheet. But there's another way that we can see both at the same time. So if I go to view, you'll see there's an option here called new window. Before I click it, just notice I've only got one sheet spreadsheet open here. When I say new window, it looks like there's suddenly two spreadsheets. But if you look carefully at the name, you'll see they've got the same name, just with colon 1 and colon 2. This is because this is the exact same spreadsheet, just two different views of it. When it's set up like this, we can now go to View, click on the Arrange All button, and I'm going to say Arrange It Vertically. And when I say OK, you'll see I'm seeing View 1 and View 2 at the same time. Why this is useful, the moment it's looking at the same sheet, but I can come to this sheet, and now I'm looking at sheet one and pricing template at the same time. So if you need to compare stuff, you can do it that way, or if I need to copy and paste, or if I need to link. You can see just just a lot easier to link that way. Just to prove that these are exactly the same spreadsheet, if I go on to sheet two you'll see I'm seeing the same one but watch what happens over here if I start typing I'm gonna type here but watch what happens here so you can see whatever I do on one happens on the other so these are exactly the same spreadsheet we're just viewing it where you can use this as well is if you want to look at different areas similar to the split panes so for example on this side here maybe I want to go to property details I want to see this graphic over here and over here I want to go leases and we'll see these numbers here so what I can now do let me just get it. so there you can see this this is in about row 18 this is in row 300 if I make a change here so let's make this 500 uh, let's rather make that 36 months and when I click enter watch what happens to the graph so as you can see this graph changes so this is exactly the same spreadsheet we're just looking at it in two views and in this case different rows to get rid, rid of it you just close it and we recommend you close the one with the two behind it rather just close that you'll see normally if you close a spreadsheet it asks you to save but because we haven't closed the spreadsheet, we've only closed the view of the spreadsheet, it doesn't bother, you still need to save this as the final spreadsheet.